Good morning, world. Just had a shower. Right. Um, update on wine. Um, I kind of missed a couple of videos of um, explaining what's going on. So I'll just steady my hands. Uh, yeah, I kind of missed some a video of uh, what was going on. Basically, we uh, had a problem with the elderflower wine. The elderflower wine wasn't... Um, it wasn't fermenting properly, so we had to actually go and get some more yeast. And then it was suggested to us that wasn't in the instructions to um, top it up a little bit more. And that was through speaking to a friend. He said, like, he didn't think that put A, putting in cold water at the start helped. And B, uh, we didn't think that he filled it up enough. So we actually had a point where the... Um, the red wine was really frothy, but the elderflower wine wasn't wasn't bubbling. So here's an update on the frequency of the bubbles. And also you'll see that um, it's a little bit more full. Uh, the froth on the elderflower one was quite big. You know, there's quite a lot of it. Um, and the on the red wine, it dissipated a little bit. But again, this morning, it sort of frothed up again on the red. So here is the current status. As you, I well, hope you can, hope you guys can see there. There's a little bit more in there. Um, the um, also the uh, bubbling of the things. That is the elderflower. So you'll see it's like every second or so. So it's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Yeah, so it's about every two or three seconds. And this one is the red wine. Now, I don't know whether you can see on that. It's pretty frothy. Um, yeah. And this one should be like every six seconds, I think. Five, six, seven. Yeah, it's every seven, six or seven seconds. So that is the uh, current um, status of the wine. Uh, one of the things that I am going to do today is I'm going to top it up a little bit more up to the shoulder. So we will literally have a, a, about between six and seven bottles of wine is worth of both. So the next steps, uh, we need to um, top it up to the shoulder. I'm going to do that today. And then as soon as that's done, we have to leave it for around around a week, I would say. It's basically you're just going to be until the bubbling is either stopped or is very, 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 very infrequent. Because uh, then as soon as it's that, it says that the fermentation process is complete. And then we got to add some more stuff. So I will review this video and we will do more when the, um, you know, when we've uh, been a week and it's time to put some more stuff in. So that is a little wine up update. See you later, everybody. Take care.